Allen bringing out the Mountaineers of West Virginia. Stories swirling about Nealon and the possibility that he'll move to Ohio State next year. We'll explore that this afternoon. Now it is Oklahoma State. Lost only twice all season to the Big Two with the Big Eight. Oklahoma and Nebraska. If they win, you can expect the Cowboys to jump up and finish in the top ten in the AP poll. And so we have touched on the weather, and here it is right now, 35 degrees, but the wind will be the most important element of the game right now. So we're set to go in the Sun Bowl. Oklahoma State will kick it off for West Virginia. Tally will come out. It's out near the 20-yard line. It's the freshman quarterback. He's one of the finest freshman quarterbacks in the nation, destined to have a great career. The running backs, and they'll be critical. A.B. Brown, can he stay healthy? Taylor is the fullback. They'll be the workhorses, especially going into the wind. Tally and Smith, they're the outside receivers. And Major Harris brings West Virginia up to the line. And they'll run Brown on first down. Way for three blocking for Brown. We see Koken is the man in the middle. How about this offensive line as a unit, Pat? Very good. They're all fourth year uh, redshirts, so they've been in the program for uh, four years now. They've played at least two years together. The strength is on the left side. Stroya and Phillips are the dominant players on the offensive line. Harris always a threat to run. Over Brown again. So this will bring up about a third and four. Now he's working into this stiff wind. He'll put it up. Under pressure, receiver covered. Ball swings loose. He gets it out of bounds. So West Virginia will punt. It's for West Virginia. And one of the return men is the ever dangerous Sanders. But it goes to his buddy, and that's Gillum. So down there near midfield. Snow flurries now starting to swirl through the air. Mike Gundy, the quarterback for the Cowboys. Limbrick, the blocker. Thurman Thomas, you've heard about him all season long. The receivers are extremely tall. They both go 6'4". Williams may be about 6'5". He also is a former quarterback. Small corners. The flea flicker right away. Here's Dykes. And Dykes is alone inside the 10. Down near the five-yard line. How about that for an opener? When Thomas came to the line, that's all they needed. Now Thurman picks his way. Close and in. Oklahoma State strikes first. When we talked about how wide open their offense is, it was terrific two calls there on the first couple of plays. In their opening series, the Cowboys put a quick seven points up. It took two plays. No, it wasn't much of a drive, a two-play drive, but here's the look as uh, Thurman Thomas, you're going to see him do this a lot. They like to pitch him the ball, and he'll either run all the way to the outside or just find a little seam, a soft spot on the inside. And he just snuck under a couple of tackles there for the touchdown. That's a nice run. 7-0, Oklahoma State. Blanchard whacks it back down. This one. Caught that breeze and sailed out of the end zone. It'll come up to the 20-yard lines. Anchored there in the middle by Kim Johnson. What about this group, Pat? Again, we've talked about their speed. No dominating players uh, like they've had, like Leslie O'Neill in the past. Good speed. They've created a lot of fumbles this year. Here's Brown. Big hole. Comes free at the 40. Out of bounds. the fullback Taylor now the rest of the defense and there is drain one of the better young linebackers at Oklahoma State Gillum and Weller at the corners and two big tough safeties Smith and Decker now Harris to put it up off the 
option, and he'll go deep down the middle for Talley. Talley can't get it inside the five. And sometimes the corners will bite. This was a straight drop, and he just keeps it. Running the quarterback draw, and he can take off, and he elects to slide down. Who can run, you're in business in the quarterback draw. Now they come back with the uh, tailback, Anthony Brown. And Oklahoma State, not very tough against the run, either. They give up about four and a half yards of rush, and here's Taylor picking his way against the middle. Touch of Christmas in Texas. Inside the 25. They really believe he's a 1,200 yard back if he's healthy. Gene Smith in motion. Harris again keeps it. Dave Bing Crosby would love. Here's Brown cutting back. And a penalty flag is thrown. Wide receiver from West Virginia was number 82. Opening quarter of the Sun Bowl. John Dockery, Jim Nance, Pat Hayden. I'm Brent Musburger. We wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. And yes, it is snowing in El Paso, Texas. Harris, the freshman quarterback, keeping and getting to the 11-yard line. But not a serious knee injury as far as the doctor can tell. Now the wind and the snow picking up. He gets a first down again. We got a wind howling and the snow whipping in everybody's face. And the Mountaineers trying to score. And a day like this, you got to get it fast if you can. Taylor, the fullback. The West Virginia's come right back. They run it in. That's A.B. Brown. Very nice blocks up front, Brent. Smiter, the right tackle. He does. We've got eight minutes and 49 seconds to go. This year, they are impressive with Wade Wilson. He's come up with a lot of big plays. Now they don't want Sanders to touch the ball, even on a day like this. Ball ricocheted over into Thurman Thomas's hands. There's no way we can see him up here right now with that snow down on the field. And here's the defensive line that Oklahoma State will be working against. This unit, Pat? Very physical as all of Don Nealon's defensive teams are. It's one of those kind of physical... Uh... Gundy, inside flip to Thomas. We'll bring up a second and five. They're at about at the 36-yard line. Stuff. This will leave them with a third down. They weren't moving him out of the way. Wendy only a sophomore and a great year for Oklahoma State. So did this big fella, Thurman Thomas. He's got a first down. Thomas follows the fullback into the hole. Wendy to Williams for the first down. And he's hot. Three of three for 69 yards already in this game. And make it four of four as he swings one to Thomas. We hear while you're at it. Here's the second down and nine. Off the play action. Gundy. That's it complete. And they're down to the 10 yard line. Ryan Keith, the tight end. First and goal inside that 10 yard line, which you can barely make out. Thomas bus one. Second touchdown for Thurman Thomas. And Pat Jones says we'll go for one. This Where's the defense? <laughs> Led in this game, 7-0. West Virginia tied it. And now Oklahoma State scores again. Two possessions, two touchdowns, and Thurman Thomas playing like a first-round draft choice here this afternoon. And he has done this for the last three years, his break tackles, real strong hips and legs. It's hard to get to his legs because he gets down so low and fights off blockers. See, it's real tough to get to his legs, so he'll break some tackles and scores easily. 5-16 to go in the first quarter. Oklahoma State has scored with both of its possessions here in the opening quarter. Bell to 10, got to the 20, and hammered down at the 21-yard line by Milton Cockrell. A.B. Brown, the workhorse, they're at tailback. Follows a block by the fullback. 
He's coming in motion toward you. Down. We think he is going to be a superstar in college football over the next three years. Brown. And the heart of that Oklahoma State defense. Snow not falling as heavily as he did there for a short time. Brown behind the right side of the offensive line. That ball is at their own 40-yard line. Harris could not find an opening and Schaub. Harris to throw and runs the draw out of there. Out of bounds here on the near side. It's first and ten for the Mountaineers. Smith going in motion. And they run the fullback. Greg Taylor and Ron Williams. But their play selection has been indicative of that 22 runs and only one pass. Now Harris. Deep down the middle. Almost intercepted. The ball is at the Oklahoma State 47-yard line. On the draw with Brown. He gets an alley on the left side. And a first down. So the ball is down to the Oklahoma State 27. It's first and 10. And they run the workhorse again. All right, John. This is a second and seven. And Brown comes up the middle. That's his fourth 100-yard game, and in a short yardage situation, they go to the wishbone and pop it straight ahead to move the chain. Ball is on the 15-yard line. Brown straight ahead. So we've come to the end of the first quarter. 21 points scored. And Oklahoma State leading West Virginia. 14 to 7. College football continues after this message and a word from your local stations. They come to the short side with Brown and he's got it. Boy, the fullback Craig Taylor really paved the way for him. Patton play scoring drive, a 16 play scoring drive. Extra point is added by Bauman. And we've got another deadlock at 14. You see weather like this, and you think you're going to have a low scoring game, but that has not been the case. As A.B. Brown steps into the end zone for the Mountaineers, and they tie Oklahoma State. We got a dandy of a Sun Bowl brewing. It's 14 all, second quarter. This is the first return, and it goes over Sanders' head. Now, see that line there? See the end line? Now, look at where he stopped. Gundy brings the Cowboys up. Thurman Thomas has scored both the Oklahoma State touchdowns, and he breaks free again. Some of the West Virginia contingent jumping in there and grabbing the brooms so they can get the sidelines swept clean here. Fumble, but he regained control. Thomas went back after it. This is a third down. Gundy forced out of the pocket. He is an excellent scrambler. Throws on the run to his tailback. Now the ball out to the Oklahoma State 40-yard line for this first down. Here's Thomas. Okay. Gundy straight back. Throws complete. And Hartley Dykes battles for the first down. Well, the ball is just about half a yard short of midfield. And here he comes again, Thurman Thomas. And this time he is crushed by Willie Edwards, the cornerback. Holding on the line of scrimmage by the offense. Still first down. Now back to you, Brent. Thank you, John. It is now first and 20. The ball back to the 40-yard line. And Gundy scrambles out and not very far. Draw again, Thomas, and Parker cuts him off. I have to use uh, other sources of uh, ways of moving on the field. 
I can't just sit back there and see the receivers because the linemen are so tall. So I like to scramble around and try, try to get out in the open and make a big play. Fighter of the mound. Oklahoma State blocked. Honey is blocked and it'll go out of bounds. On the far side of the field, Preston Waters, the cornerback, they're at the line. Major Harris pulling back, throwing deep for Bell, and it's intercepted. Intercepted at the 11-yard line. Jerry Deckard, the free safety with an interception. And while well, we've got a break, there's a penalty marker thrown at the first down following the interception. Offside against the defense. Here's Thomas. Breaks a tackle. It's out close to another first down. They've got a tremendous backup. Barry Sanders, number 21. Watch and see when they get him into the offense. He's the lone setback right away. He's a game breaker, but not this time. West Virginia knew he was coming at him. Ball on the Cowboys 27 yard line. This is a second and 11 for Gundy. Fakes to Sanders. Now moving out of trouble. And hammered over there on the left side. Teddy Kester, the third and seven for the Cowboys. Ball on their own 31. Sends the backs out, intercepted. Rodney Wilson, the sophomore from Washington, gets the turnover for the Mountaineers. Game tied at 14. Now they come back featuring Brown, and he's got an alley on that far side. Deckard finally got him out of bounds. And so they take advantage of running to the short side of the field. Now they come up with the fullback, Taylor. Brown has carried 19 times for 132 yards. UTEP and Florida State put 34 on the board back in the mid-50s. Major Harris on this second down, giving to Brown, and Brown is also seeking a record. 197 yards rushing. Don't substitute when you have a guy with a hot hand. Third and seven from the 20-yard line. Harris keeps it. Now Bauman's field goal will be a 33-yarder with the wind at his back. High snap, ball put down, and Bauman gets it through. West Virginia takes the lead for the first time here this afternoon in the Sun Bowl. It's 17-14, 5.41 to go in the first half. Back spot next year for the Cowboys. See if they keep it away from him all game. What a great kickoff that was into the end zone. Now Thomas returns a tailback. David Grant, the nose man, approaching the five minute mark of the first half. Play started at the 20. Incomplete, but that Hartley Dykes is Terry White. Many of you remember him. He had some great games at Ohio State before he transferred. Gundy on the scramble intercepted, and what a great read that time by Warren for the score. Darnell Warren out of McKeesport, Pennsylvania. another extra point. This is the record. Most points scored in the opening half of a Sun Bowl game. And West Virginia's got the best of it. The Mountaineers lead Oklahoma State by 10, and we'll be right back. With that interception. And Bauman gets one back inside. And Thurman Thomas brings it out for Oklahoma State. Now he'll try to get Sanders into this attack. So we're in El Paso, Texas with 4.17 to go in the first half and West Virginia leading by 10 and Gundy throwing a quick pop to Dykes who breaks a tackle and then pulls two defenders with him. Personal foul on the defense, 15 yards, first down. I think I said Sanders was the tailback. Thurman Thomas 
has been in there this series. Here he is following the fullback. It is hard for one defender to bring him down. And the return for the score by Warren, and that's where we now stand as Gundy breaks free from Jackson, but couldn't do much as Brad Hunt. Gundy drops it off underneath, and it's a first down. J.R. Dillard. First and ten now for Oklahoma State. They run the draw with Thurman Thomas. This has been a bread and butter play. I thought that was a terrific transfer. Not so bad for Coach Nealon either. <laughs> yeah, he was a pretty good college quarterback, you bet. Right now, Thurman Thomas in Oklahoma State. And use as much of the clock as they can. Stopped at the 19. How about that? How often you see a tackle? Mike Wolf. So this is second and 15. Steps away from trouble. And the ball is complete there at the 21 by Dillard. Comes the ball off to Dillard. A minute eight left on this third and eight now for Gundy, who steps out of trouble and caught a block. Drop at the five yard line. Blocked. So they block a punt and a field goal here in the first half. West Virginia making the big plays. And we'll have some details on that for you. So they drop the man down, let the clock run, and although there are a few flurries in the air, the forecast was for some heavy snowfall in the fourth quarter. So it'll be West Virginia ahead at the half. 24. Oklahoma State will have the wind at its back. That has been pivotal in this game so far. Gundy went to town in the first half when he had the win. Had his turnover problem, marching against it. Now Bell back at the goal line for West Virginia, bringing it out. The Mountaineers up by 10 and battling to hang on. Bell sprints to the bottom of your screen as the wide man. This is Brown. He's been a load all day. That time he stacked up pretty good. And the quarterback again, Major Harris, the freshman from Pittsburgh, very dangerous also as a runner. Down the line on the option. And he could not get away from Decker. The... And Harris rolling on third down, throws incomplete. Low punt into the wind. Caught by Sanders. He's the whiz. Near the 45 yard line. And West Virginia will have it at their back for the fourth quarter. As Thurman Thomas on a cutback breaks free to the 36 yard line. Waters the corner. Sophomore quarterback Mike Gundy have the controls for Pat Jones in Oklahoma State. He comes back with Thomas. And riding him down was the nose man, David Grant. Face mask on the defense. Five yard penalty, still first down. A long time ago, known as Texas Western. Well, in Stillwater, Oklahoma, they get win. So Oklahoma State knows how to use it. And Thomas on the move again. Gundy still perfect with the win, five of five, back in the opening quarter. Here's Thomas. Cuts back into the middle to the 15-yard line. This is the area of the field, remember, too. They like the matchup between their tall, wide... Across the 40-yard line. And it's Napoleon's job. Here he is working the toss. And he is stuck there at the 40-yard line. This is now the third and seven for Harris in West Virginia. Under pressure, steps up, avoids another tackler. Throws to Bell, who's open. Bell inside the 15. What a great play by Major Harris. Ball at the 15, first and 10 for the Mountaineers. Now, Brown is back. There's a penalty marker down on the play. Now the holding penalty brings the ball back to the 25. It's going to be first and 20. Harris to 
put it up again. Good protection, and he's hammered down at the 35 after the eight-yard loss. A penalty and a big play by the OSU defense. Harris to the short side, working the option, and they have scored three times in three possessions. This is third and 22 from Major Harris in West Virginia. Steps up on the pressure. Down at the 20, he is short of the first down. When Brain got on him, Bauman to attempt a 38-yarder. Against the wind, Bauman's got it. It's 27-21, West Virginia. West Virginia leading Oklahoma State, 27-21. to There's Sanders. We keep waiting for him to turn it loose. He's got it at the eight. Spins out to the 35, and the ball is loose on the carpet. Humble, and West Virginia signals they've got it, and Oklahoma State disagrees. <laughs> First and ten now. Here's Thomas. Get some plays on the board, a scoreboard, uh, a score on the board before they get the win. Score against the win. Six and a half minutes for Gundy, and he'll roll and couldn't find a man. He's a good runner. Forced out of bounds there on the far side. Third and three. Thomas tripped over his own man who was down in position. Even when you got the wind at your back. Going to go ahead. Follow through with the punt. Cooper. And Bell lets the ball roll dead, and it'll be down. What a beautiful punt. Back in after he limped off a bit. He received minor treatment. They'll run Brown behind the left side, and he gets close to the five-yard line. Kept it, but he didn't fool Weller. Now it's the third and five play. And Harris rolling under pressure in the end zone, steps away from it. Major Harris out to the 11. So they're going to get superb field position. Sanders looking for daylight and down. Now it's Oklahoma State trying to regain the lead. There is that sprint draw with Thurman Thomas. Adjustments at halftime, win games in the second half. Now let's see how the play hope for Oklahoma State does here, and that's a great play by David Grant, the nose man. Now Thurman Thomas returns. for the touchdown. Broken up at the goal line and interference is the call. In the NFL, that would have been first and goal down at the one. But that's not the college ruling. Here it'll be first and ten for Oklahoma State at the 11. And Gundy with a quick pop to Dykes through behind him. Still two and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. Thomas. Great cutback move, wasn't it? Great Walter Payton. Gundy, touchdown. Hit Dillard, the tight end for the score. Oklahoma State over West Virginia. They've had it at their back. Spirits team has come through in fine fashion. Five possessions with the wind and four scores. And at their back in the final quarter. Bell chases after it into the end zone and he elects to come out. Hammered at the 13. First down, incomplete. There's Anthony Brown running the delay. They've 
at seven yards to go. Harris to throw it. He runs out of trouble again up the middle, and he is short of the first down. Lance Carrion, the punter. And they fake it for the first down. They go with Craig Taylor, the fullback. Would you believe a team faking a punt with that kind of field position? I love the call. Taylor is the up back. He gets the ball on the right side. The, left, uh, the right side blocks down, and Taylor, who's the starting fullback, knows what to do with the ball. <laughs> the end of the third quarter. Uh, Don Dealer might want to go with you to Columbus, Ohio, if it fails. We'll be back after this message and a word from your local station. I have real answers. Turnovers as we start the final 15 minutes. And after the fake punt. Nine yards to go for the first down. And they come back with the draw play. And Harris with that quick top pass for the first down. Snowed in Malibu, believe it or not. Brown again, and now the draw play being successful. Second and six. They run the fullback. Here's the third and four for Major Harris, and Brown will try to get it. Number 28. to the fullback again. It's a one-point Oklahoma State lead. And here's Brown cutting back, but no room there. Cut back to you, Brent. All right, John, it is third and eight. Ball at the 33-yard line. Harris to the short side. Keeps it. Spurts ahead, but he is short. They're going to go here on fourth and a yard and a half. The wishbone, power straight ahead, middle of that cowboy defense. It's going to be important where they put it down and bring those chains in. And Oklahoma State players indicating they didn't get it. Well, it's a nasty, howling, swirling wind down there, all right. Could have been tough for Bauman. Here's Thurman Thomas, right in pursuit. Second and two, the ball is on the 33-yard line. The word for his coordinator as he watches. They run the draw with Thomas. Boy, that first man doesn't bring him down. Gundy took to the air, and West Virginia picked off a pair, including one in which they returned it for a touchdown. Looking to cut back. Both teams with their three timeouts remaining here in the second half. Oklahoma State leading it 28-27. Thomas heading back for the first down. He's the tailback. Set behind Limbrick. <laughs> On the draw, it's Sanders. Or an Andy Williams. Yeah. Sanders on that draw play, and he, Sanders stays in. Really about two yards to go in this sequence for the first. Here he comes. So they rotate the tailbacks on this all important drive here, approaching the 7-10 mark. This is Thomas. Ball is at the 38, second and 10. Gundy keeps it. Third and eight, the ball on the 36. Six ten to go, fourth quarter. And Gundy, under pressure, goes all the way back to midfield, throws it complete. Running away from you. Roughing the passer. Today also a new Sun Bowl record. He scored three, and he's in again. Thurman Thomas. The one.
which would give them uh, give them an eight point lead. They're going to force West Virginia to score and go for the two just to get a tie. 5-13 to go. It's 35-27. These two are going to battle right down to the end. Four touchdowns for Thurman Thomas. You know, the footing has been outstanding considering the snow. They keep it on the ground, but this will give West Virginia a decent field position. A win there will make San Francisco beat Los Angeles just to win the division title. So now West Virginia trailing by eight. Into the team that Al Davis made when Bo Jackson came aboard. He doesn't play what we wound up making $14,000 a carry. Harris keeps it. Oklahoma State has done a nice job this half of really shutting down the inside run, so West Virginia needs to get a couple of completions. And the wishbone on third and three. Harris, the quarterback, keeps it. Parker. They call roughing the passer, and they tack on. The ball goes to the 10. Oklahoma State scores, and now Major Harris trying to rally West Virginia. Coach Nealon has the ball for the last at bat in this one, and the two-point conversion can win it. It can just get him into a tie. Had success with the inside blitz. The ball is at the Oklahoma State 30 yard line. Second and seven. Here's Brown behind the left side of the line. And with the sun ball, with the snow. Starting to come down a little harder. Brown. 2.11 to go. The ball is on the 24 yard line, fourth and inches. Harris breaks free. And that allowed Harris to pick up the first down. Now it's the fullback. And the defensive players had overrun it. Been a good game, had it? And it's the fullback. West Virginia scores with Taylor bursting across, but now they need the two-point conversion. Major Harris, the freshman quarterback, in charge. Harris cut off. He'll have to put it up. Throw short. Oklahoma State holds on. 